So we're gonna talk about our igniter assembly. First, you have your piezo igniter, a spring, and a cap. Uh, that is gonna then have to have a AA battery. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a nice clean battery, a new battery. Negative is out, positive terminal is inside the module. And then you're gonna to wanna to put the spring on. That might be off, so you wanna make sure that that is properly seated on the battery itself. It needs to make good contact. So that's the first thing you always wanna check. Slide it in place, and then to hold the igniter onto the unit itself, there's this threaded nut, and you can see this metal clip on the back needs to make proper contact with the metal. So you wanna make sure that that is nice and tight in place. Uh, once that's done, you then put the cap over it, tighten it down, and everything should work perfectly. You also wanna make sure that all of the wires are properly seated in their respective places. Here we're showing the module on a Maestro 60. You see my battery is nice and tight. You wanna make sure that it's making proper contact on a new battery. That then goes in place, put it through the mounting bracket, and then that thread then is tightened down, just finger tight, as tight as you can make it. So once it's in place, nice and tight, uh, that metal clip on the back is making contact. The cap goes back in place. Because it's plastic, you wanna make sure that you don't cross thread anything. Make sure it's nice and tight, it doesn't move, the module shouldn't move on the inside, all of the wires are properly attached, and then you can reattach it. With the Maestro, the knob acts as a switch. This is the switch that's in place that activates it. You should hear the clicking, and that's it.